Hi everybody, I just wanted to quickly introduce you guys to my new web design. It's not a new website, but it is a new website design that I just launched the other day and you can get to my website through MarianSmithDesigns.com or PieceOfCraft.com um, as usual. And I just want to navigate you through the website and show you how to use it really quick. It should be very user friendly, but um, I know sometimes it's nice to see someone go through it because there's little tips and tricks and shortcuts. So, and this is the home page, and the home page you'll see a slideshow with updates, announcements, things like that. Then there is a, a video link here, and that'll take you to my live classes that are on the website. And then down here, just featured products and workshops, as well as updates and news. So if you go up to the top here where it says shop, there, there will be a drop down menu. And there's original art, digital templates, manufacturers, video workshops, vintage findings, artsy addicts, kits, and workshops. Um, so what you'll do is, you know, you'll notice as you hover over with your mouse, you'll get another drop down menu. And under original art, there's altered art, crafts, embellishments, metal findings, mini books, and paintings. And if you want to go into something specific like that, then you would click on one of these. If you just want to see all of it, then you would just click on original art. Um, so another one that has an, an additional drop down menu is digital templates. And then you'll also see manufacturers and you can click on all those. But if you just want to shop all of them, then you would just click on manufacturers instead of going through the drop down menu. So notice, I'll click manufacturers. And now, all the manufacturer products will be listed here and you could change pages by clicking on the arrows or the numbers up here or um, right down here. Let me move back a little bit so you can see the whole page here. Um, and to the left you'll see the rest of the manufacturers. So you could still click on those if you want to filter them a little bit. And then you can also filter them by, by price. Um, and then right down here is where you'll see what you have in your cart and comparable products. So the next is the blog, and that'll take you to my blog, and you guys have seen that before. And then there's the gallery, so I'll click on the gallery real quick. And the, the gallery sometimes may take a little while to load because there is a lot of stuff in the gallery. Um, so you can take, there's a little slide, there's, or it's not little, this big slideshow where you can see all the pictures and you can click on the pictures down here to make them go faster if you'd like to see them. Um, really quick. I know I have no patience, so I always try to click through things really quick. Next is the artist profile, and this is just a little short um, paragraph about me and things I've done and some pictures of me. Um, and then the, you can click on live classes, and that'll take you to it's still my website, but both my live classes will show up on here. So on the left, you'll see it's my live class for a piece of craft. And then on the right are my live classes for Prima. And then the chat boxes are right down here. So you can log in through my website. And while you're waiting for this show to start, you can watch some old videos from this show, which is kind of neat. And then you can chat right down here. Um, now you can go to Facts, which is Frequently Asked Questions. And I pretty much answered most of the main questions that I get. So hopefully that'll help you. And it's highlighted here so you can kind of navigate through there better and then you can go to up here to book a workshop and this is where you'll go if you want to inquire about one of the workshops that I teach. Um, there's a dollar processing fee and I, we only put the dollar processing fee on there so we can get some um, serious requests. Um, I mean, a dollar is not a whole lot of money so if you do book a class with me and you pay this dollar I will be more than happy to apply the dollar back to, your, um, to, the, to the workshop that you book. So what you'll do is you'll just type in the event name, store name, date of event, number of attendees, and number of attendees you could just guess and put a maximum number or a number that is your average. And then just some little comments. Tell me about your store and your events, and then you would go ahead and pay the dollar. But if you don't want to, you don't have to use this um, to contact me about workshops. You can email us if you go to email me. Um, which is right up here in the corner. You can email me through there and contact me. Um, I can't guarantee that I'll get the email because I do get bombarded with emails sometimes and I don't get to get to all of them, so I have someone else filter through them as well. So that's why the Book of Workshops kind of have a priority. And up here you'll see my account. If you go to my account, you will have the option to open up an account. If you open up an account, 
all of your information will be saved so you don't have to keep entering your shipping address and all that information every single time you shop. If you um, And you can also log in as a guest. And I made it really simple. I didn't require a whole lot of information for guests to check out because if there's anything I hate, it's having to open an account every time I shop somewhere or having to enter in all my information um, right away. So I try to make it as easy as possible to open up an account. Um, and then there's my wish list. So you can make a wish list. If you have an account, you can make a wish list of everything that you want so you don't forget what you really liked later in case um, you don't have enough money to buy everything right away. And then next is my cart. So you can click on that and see what's in your shopping cart. Right now my shopping cart is empty. Um, and then you can go to checkout. That's right up here too. And of course I don't have anything in my cart. So. And then on the very right is login. So you'll log in there. And then right down here at the bottom is a link to my Facebook and my YouTube channel. So you can go on there. And the website not only takes PayPal now, but it does take debit or credit. So just about any form of payment. So which is really cool, much quicker for most of you. And then right down here are just some shortcuts. So there's home, shop, blog, gallery, about, workshops, um, legal, and email me. So under legal, you'll see the terms of use of my website and the digital templates, etc., that are available on my website. So everything on my website is copyrighted. And then right down here is Stuart Goodwin's link to his website because he is the designer of this fabulous website. Thank you so much, Stuart. He did such a great job. And that's about it. So if you click on my logo right up here, it'll take you right back to the home page. And on this green distressed bar, you will find the search engine where you'll be able to search anything you want in the website. So let's just say we want to look up paintables. So you would type in paintables which I just did and it'll pull up the paintables that I have on the website. Right now I have the Cabbage Rose paintables which are gorgeous. They're my most favorite and so that's what I'm carrying right now. And I have quite a bit of those and they seem to be one of our top, one of my top sellers right now. So those are going pretty quick and then you can also search kits. And if you guys don't already know, I do have a new sort of kit club called Artsy Addicts and there's no membership required so you can buy as many kits as you want anytime you want but if you do buy three kits consecutively then you get invited to the artsy addicts club community where you get to open up a profile and chat with everybody and post videos and things like that um, but since we are having a grand opening for this new website between now and september anyone that buys a kit on the website will be submitted into artsy addicts um, right away. So all you'd have to do is after you purchase your kit, just email me with your request to join and I will send you your login and password. It's that easy. So from now until September, you do not have to buy three kits. You could just buy one kit and be an Artsy Addicts. And it's going to be a lot of fun because um, every once in a while, our Artsy Addicts will get a discount on the entire store and kits. And there's prizes and challenges and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, I think on Monday I'm going to be introducing our first challenge for Artsy Addicts and there's going to be a winner of course so make sure you get your kit and join our club and start chatting and making friends with us. Um, but that is the new website. I hope you guys liked it. I had a bunch of fun um, working this thing out and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So once again it is a piece of craft.com or MarianSmithDesigns.com. Thank you guys.